How can I write and graph non-proportional relationships using slope-intercept form or y equals mx plus b? So we might, we're going to start with an equation in what's called standard form, and we need to first change that into slope-intercept form. To do that, we want to isolate the y or get the y alone or basically move the x term over to the other side. So I, in this case, I'm going to use principles of algebra or things you might have learned in solving one or two step equations. And I'm doing y minus 3x. So to move this away, I just add the opposite. So I do plus 3x. Minus 3x plus 3x. That's going to cancel out, and that's going to equal y. And, but I have to do the same thing to both sides. So if I add 3x here, I need to add 3x to this side. So 3x and negative 6x is really just the same as saying 3x minus 6. You can't combine those. They're not similar terms. You have next term and a constant term. Now, though, we have written this in what looks more like mx plus b. So we have a slope and we have a y-intercept. I can now graph it. So I come to my graph. I start at the origin and I go down 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I plot the y-intercept. Now I use my slope, which is 3 or 3 over 1 for rise over run. I go up 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1. I now have two points. I could plot a few more if I wanted. 1, 2, 3, over 1. And you can use a straight edge. Sketch your line there. Draw your arrows. And now I graph this line. Started out like this. y minus 3x equals negative 6. Converted to slope-intercept form. And I've now graphed it. Sometimes you're just given a set of data. There's several ways to graph this. But I want to talk about how you can write an equation for this and also graph it at the same time. For this first one, you have this table and say we want to work in y equals mx plus b. We want to work in slope intercept form. Well, we got to figure out the slope. m is equal to our change in our y coordinate over our change in our x coordinate whenever we're dealing with a non-proportional relationship. That means that I have to look here. How does my y coordinate change as my x coordinate changes? So we're going to call this x and this y because numbers of rides taken is kind of independent. And then the balance on your bus card is dependent on that. That's your dependent variable. So we'll take 20 to 15. That's minus 5. And then 15 to 10 is also minus 5. All right, so what's going on with the x at the same time? So it goes 0 to 2, so it's plus 2. And 2 to 4 is plus 2. So it's a constant rate of minus 5 over plus 2. So y is minus 5, x is plus 2, so negative 5 halves. What I do is this is now my slope. So I'd write an equation y equals negative 5 halves x. And then I have to add my b, or maybe I subtract it because it's negative. What's my b term? b is what ha what's, when x is 0, what is y equal? Well, this data actually gives us that information. When x is 0, y is 20. So it's just plus 20 since the table gives us the information. I can now graph this using the same method I did with the other one. I take my y-intercept, I come to my graph, I go up to 20 because it's positive in this case. Now my slope is negative, so I have to go down 5, right 2. So down 5 to 15. Right 2, note my scale is a little bit different on my x and y axis. Right 2, so down 5 over 2. I plot my second point. And then I can just play connect the dots here, draw my arrows, and I've graphed this line, which would show the number of rides taken, the balance um, in y, the bus card. You could also even like extend this line down and try and figure out, okay, where does this now cross? When does my balance equal 0? Things like that you might want to figure out think about when you're solving these problems. Again, this is how I can write and graph non-proportional relationship using slope-intercept form, which we write y equals mx plus b.